fiddlers. Phosphor.fans, Earl at the logbook.com here. I, you know, I guess the game didn't want to wait for me to, <laughs> to do my introduction. We're back on the Bally Professional Arcade, also known as the Astrocade, playing um, a game that was actually, this, this was a request from Facebook, from Kevin. He wanted to see Ms. Candyman. Normal, abnormal, or insane? Let's go with normal. Which is not something I say very often, but... Now, as you can see... Uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. You're a yellow thing with a mouth, and you're trying to eat dots. In um, something that's perhaps not so much a maze as a grid. Now, the grid-based nature of it means that you kind of have to you have to do a little bit of planning of your movement as best you can. Apparently, you're something yellow with a mouth, and you're large enough that you require a tow truck to drag your corpse away. Oh, no. It's kind of funny that, you know, they're just going to tow away the first two, but an ambulance gets called out for the last one. Well, that's a very colorful game, and boy, they they really uh, they like their music. Can I skip the intro? No, we're we're gonna draw that out again. Every pixel of it. Yep. Fiddlers. So 1983, this would have been, quite honestly, well after um, mainstream support for the Astrocade had come to a grinding halt. That anyone was still supporting it with new software is kind of impressive. That would really need to be something of a labor of love, really, I, I would think. And LNM Software also turned out a, a a very similar, if not identical, game called Candyman. So they were kind of following the Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man formula. My little goblin friends. <laughs> Livy, leave her alone. You stay there. All right. Edit. Edit out the middle. Two players? Seven players. Now let's try insane and see if that gets us back where we... It really is just a speed change, I, yeah, I said as I died instantly. l and Games also released a very similar, if not 
almost identical game called Candyman for the Astrocade. So they uh, obviously some cues were being taken from the the Pac-Man franchise. Now we're insane. It's actually kind of impressive to see a game on the Astrocade moving at this kind of speed or intensity. Which may be why it's flickering. So there you have it. Ms. Candyman for the Astrocade. This is one of the rarest, one of the rarest Astrocade games out there. It is very hard to get a hold of, apparently. And, you know, if I had tracked down an actual cartridge instead of just playing this in emulation, I find myself wondering if I would feel a little bit betrayed that there's not more game here than there seems to be. Just a little something to think about. That's but That was part of what finally got me out of collecting video games, was that you would track down some of these so-called holy grails, you know, these really rare games, and then you'd pop in, chase the chuck wagon, or you know, air raiders or whatever, and it's just like, whoa, that, that's, that's it? And I skipped a house payment for this? Now, I never skipped a house payment for a video game. Uh, let me put that on the table right now. But I would feel awfully silly to have splashed out and gotten a lemon in cartridge form. So it's, it's just kind of interesting to contemplate the rare intersection of rarity and actually being a worthwhile game. And we'll get back to that topic at a later date because I, there are some instances where those two factors do land on the same page.